Hi, I'm Landon Thacko from Spartan Controls, and today I'll be showing you how to mount a DVC 6200 positioner onto a Fisher sliding stem valve. To begin, attach the mounting bracket to the back of the DVC. For this, you'll need your mounting bolts and O-rings. Flip the bracket over and put your bolts in from the back side, and then roll your O-rings on from the front. These roll rings are here purely to keep the bolts in the bracket if you were to ever remove the DVC from the bracket. With your O-rings installed, flip your DVC over and then bolt on your bracket. With our bracket installed on our DVC, our next step will be to install our feedback array on our connecting block. Firstly, we'll want to ensure that there's no pressure on our valve stem. And since we have our 667 actuator, we'll have to apply a regulated 35 PSI to our actuator. With the pressure removed from the valve stem, we can now remove our right bolt of our connecting block and loosen our left bolt. This allows us to slide in our feedback array bracket and then reinstall our bolts. I find it easiest to loosely preassemble the feedback array onto the extension arm prior to installing it on the actuator. The extension arm can be installed both pointing up and down, and it varies depending on the type and size of your actuator. So always consult your manual for proper orientation of the extension arm. We can now loosely screw on our extension arm onto our arm connector. With our feedback array loosely assembled, we can now center our bracket and then tighten up our connecting block bolts. With the connecting block bolts now tightened, we can remove our actuator air pressure and allow it to return to its failed position. With the actuator in its failed position, we are now ready to install our DVC. We will put our bolt in the mounting bracket and bolt it onto the yoke. With those bolts tightened up, we can now line up our feedback array. The easiest way to do that is to lean in from the back and line up the appropriate line on your feedback array with the line cast into the back of the DVC right here. With that lined up, I will now tighten up my screws and then slide my array into the back of my DVC. With the feedback array properly aligned, we can now install our fittings and then tube up our actuator. And lastly, we'll install our regulator. With the regulator installed, the DVC will now be ready for calibration. And that concludes our tutorial on how to mount a DVC 6200 onto a Fisher sliding stem actuator. Thanks for watching.